um, so people who've used steroids. I think one of the things that we need to look at is why have they used steroids? Mm. And that's this is going to sound really like GP and a little bit fluffy. But actually, for some guys, one of the things that we talk about loads when you talk about um, females and social media exposure and, you know, filters and isn't it really tough for them having, you know, these unrealistic expectations and unrealistic goals, um, physical goals and everything to to sort of go up against. But we don't do that for our guys. And actually, like, our era, we're growing up on, like, Terminator <laughs> and all the cool Arnie movies. Um, and, you know, there's there's a little bit of that. So I think it's an interesting topic to bring out. And steroids, because of the internet, are becoming more and more available. They are everywhere. They are so normal in gyms. Um, the information on what potentially the long-term side effects are isn't really out there. Um, and I think a lot of guys just see the cool results that some people get um, and some people get away with it. And other people will have done one cycle and then their life just went crash after that. They didn't necessarily associate it with the cycle, um, but they then sort of became a bit of an introvert. They went from being quite, you know, getting along quite well and having quite a good social group to becoming more and more introverted and socially disconnected. And then life changed for them. Their career progression changed, their relationships changed, their intimate relationships changed, family relationships. And it all just kind of went off pop. And sometimes they don't even, they'll come to me 10 years after that event and they won't even associate that change with them, with that with that life event. Mm. Um, and sometimes they'll have been sort of nudged to go and have a look. And then when I ask them about steroid use, they'll say, you know, oh yeah, but I didn't, I don't think it was that much of a problem. It was only really brief use. And it's like, well, when did your symptoms start? Oh, about six months after I stopped that. <laughs> mm, okay. <laughs> um, but I, I think, I mean, I don't know, certainly as a parent, that would be one of the things that, from a protective point of view, it's a conversation that you can have early. Um, and the vis visual benefits of taking steroids for young guys can be seen really obviously, but the dangers of them, like, I mean, it's like any time you're taking drugs, um, the dangers don't seem so apparent right there and then, but it looks really cool being that jacked in a gym and being able to lift it all up. <laughs> just that test... That mm -hmm. even if they are, say they're like 25, been training for five years, uh -huh. wanting to take steroids, would mm -hmm. just taking a bit of extra testosterone be the safest form of steroids? You don't steroid? really know what you're taking. There is a really good, I'm not going to be able to tell you what it is, uh, study that had, it was like a meta-analysis where they took five and a half thousand steroid samples from gyms and... Um, the stuff they found in there wasn't really what it was. I was about to say, yeah, I've seen that before. Yeah, yeah. 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 It, was, it was all sorts in there, wasn't it? Yeah, all sorts of chaos, but not what you were expecting. And I think, I think that's one thing that I would say with that. But the other thing is that what the guy in the gym is going to tell you that is a little bit of testosterone yeah. often isn't a little bit of testosterone. Yeah. But the other thing is that we don't, and there obviously haven't been many controlled studies trying to figure out um, what a little bit of test looks like in the gym. But also there seem to be some people that will do or say that they've done a cycle uh, and then come never really come back from it. And we don't we don't know why there is that some people just can do it for 10, 15 years, come off it and then drift back up to their normal 22, 25, whatever. Yeah. Um, I was having this discussion recently with someone, they were saying that you can do tests for a little bit and then you, your, your, your system will definitely come back. And I was saying, no, it doesn't. And they were like, well, I was told it does. And I'm like, well, are, you, are you being told by because they're a fucking idiot? Like, well, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like it, 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 and for some people, it, it might. can shut down. Yeah, you know, it that's can. All I, that's Absolutely. what I was trying to say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It can shut down. Even if you've done it for 12 weeks, small dose, yeah. whatever, you can be the unlucky one. Yeah. and it shuts down and it doesn't you know? come back yeah absolutely I think that's definitely a misconception because I think as you, as you talk now you know I'm, I'm fairly informed compared mm. to your average show perhaps but yeah I didn't really thought about the fact that you could do one cycle and just wreck yourself permanently well it's just you don't really know whatever yeah. is in that one cycle yeah um yeah uh, I think that's one of the you know and it's so when people talk about doing oh 
I, I don't think I've ever taken to some, talked to somebody who's taken steroids who hasn't taken pharmaceutical grade steroids because uh, you know they've all got such pretty packaging these days around me. <laughs> um, but I, yeah, I think it's it's just knowing and understanding the risks. Um, but actually, often if they're if they're truly about it for training gains and things like that, if you ask them whether or not they cleaned up their lifestyle and done all the other things that they can do to optimize training like the boring stuff like the sleep hygiene stuff that takes and time. the dietary Absolutely stuff not. and uh, <laughs> what do you mean cut out yeah drink <laughs> yeah. the water Have cut out alcohol <laughs> yeah you're gonna kick me out in a second aren't you <laughs> um but yeah so i think those i think those things are they're just less sexy to talk about and it's yeah. you know it's, I, I, I call it the fundamentals just yeah. fundamentals the, yeah. the things that all you do them, and yeah. that's that's a good base. Yeah. yeah, but it's like we've talked about loads, and everyone's looking for a fucking shortcut these days, and yeah. they don't want to put the put the long long yards in first before trying these things. But yeah, it's it's a yeah it's a, it's a really no, notable point I think about just you don't don't know what you're getting, mm. and I think a lot of people will assume they can do it like a, a PCT or a post course therapy mm. treatment, um, and you know what is it Clomid? Is that what they take? Yeah, yeah bang that in, and pop your uncle they're sorted, but mm. could be anything, right? As you say, yeah. 